I think this area gives uh, a really good indication about the process of making this a sustainable building. Instead of a conventional hallway that's full of air conditioners, that they've kept it very open. And with the building being off the ground, it allows a lot of fresh air to, to come into the, the main stairwells. Um, and with hot air rising, it comes through there and is able to escape through the roof, which was able to keep the corridors cool. In each room, we also have different ways of making sure that we reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible, uh, including things such as these louvers, um, which are on the externals of the building, which really help control the temperature of the room without the need for using the air conditioner in the room. This is our rooftop terrace. You really don't expect this for the price that you're paying. It's, it's our wow factor. So we're just getting the drone set up to go for a bit of a visual inspection of our solar panels on the roof. We try and do regular checks. The original panels on the rooftop were part of the construction of the building. Then the other panels above the education centre were added on in 2016. And they were paid for by what we call a sustainable hostels fund, where one dollar from a guest that opts in, we match that dollar, which goes into some sort of sustainability for the property. People definitely want to feel a sense of a community, with the main emphasis being on sustainability. Definitely more and more travellers are really expecting and also demanding for the places that they stay to be doing the most that they can um, with sustainability for the community as well as the environment. 